Hey folks, this is Gazwan Kari over at SharePointQuester.com. Today I'll be going over creating reports from the logging database of SharePoint. I'm going to be working with SharePoint 2010. I'm going to show you the framework. I'll be doing a specific example, which is an example I always get asked about, but you could use that same framework process to generate any report that you'd like to generate from the logging database. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm on a machine that simply has uh, Microsoft Excel. I'm going to go to data and I'm going to under get external data select from other sources. I'm going to select from SQL Server. Plug in the name of the SQL Server host. Select next. The database I'm going to be working with is the WSS logging database. And then the table I'm going to be working with is my site inventory table. Go ahead and select next and go ahead and click on finish. I've done this before so I'm just overwriting one file with another and that's fine. Uh, three things you could generate a table, a pivot table and a pivot chart and a table. I'll do a pivot table report and go ahead and click OK. Uh, these are the fields now exposed to us. Let's start building our pivot table. First we'll add the machine name and then within the machine name we'll add the server URL which is your web application and then we'll add the site URL which is your site notice how nicely this thing is generating and then we'll do a site size and now we have a report that shows us for a specific farm per machine basically per web front end uh, the list of all the web applications and then within the web applications we see a list of all the site collections along with the size each and every site collection consumes within this web application. This concludes this video. Thanks for listening in and before I let you go again keep in mind this is a framework so you could actually add through the process you could connect to different tables there is the server timer job table <coughs> Uh, that you could get information about how long it's taking for uh, timer jobs to complete but you could basically run reports from anything that's in the WSS logging database and until next time